In this tutorial, we're going to talk about how to adjust your workspace and even break up your workspace into multiple views so that you can work on an overall view of your aircraft all at once. Now, we know that we can orbit and we can pan our object around, but with a single workspace, we're limited to whatever single view that we have at the time. Now, you can resize the window, of course, by clicking and dragging the borders as usual. You can also come in to the View Adjust menu and change the viewport size using these sliders, or if you happen to know the pixel ratio of how you want your screen to be laid out, say for an aspect ratio for a figure in a paper or presentation, you can set these values manually, and of course, come in and turn off the border. Then you can export a clean image of an appropriate size for your paper or presentation, and then that means you can drop it straight in without having to go and do any post-processing or clipping. Now, if you want, you can also break this up into multiple views. I'm going to turn the borders back on and take a look at the four view example of a workspace. So here you can see we have an active window with this red box around it. And that's a top view, an ISO view, a left view, and a front view, all in the same workspace. Now the interesting thing is that VSP treats each of these as an independent workspace, meaning you can change the background to whatever you like independently of each other. Now that means that if you want to, say, set a top view here, you can load a three view top, three view front, and three view side into your different workspaces. And then you can go in, say, pick a parameter, and you can fit that to each of the three views simultaneously. So rather than having to do one and then switch, do another and switch, you can just do these all at once and see how changing a single parameter affects your aircraft as a whole. So this is incredibly useful when you want to very quickly iterate on a multiple view design of an aircraft. Another thing that you can do here is you can set to horizontal or to vertical, and it's a similar layout. But if you go ahead and turn these borders off, or you can turn the axes off as well, you can see that now we've created our own three view of the aircraft, and we can export this figure directly out, label it accordingly, and so you don't have to screen grab multiple views and try and line them up. They're already set up in the VSP workspace for you.